Mama may have mm, And Papa may have But God bless the child That's got his own That's got his own How you doing? This is Jazz for OldFashionedHealth.com And I want to welcome you to the show this Thursday We have Greg Odom from Odom's Produce Thank you for having me. Thank you for taking the time. I know you're a very busy man, running across the city, making deliveries. Yeah, we do stay busy. Stay far, busy? But yes, we do. So tell us a little bit about your farm. Where are you located? Okay. We're located in uh, Montezuma, Georgia. Okay. She's probably about two hours from Atlanta, south, I-75 south. Uh, this is third generation of farm. We've been in existence since the early 1900s. Um, my dad, who was passed away four years ago, okay. left the farm to us. So we kind of transformed the farm into a more working farm for okay. the younger generation that's coming along. In the was it a working farm before? Yeah, it was a working farm before, okay. but we didn't have the irrigation systems, the high tunnels, a little bit of the new technology. That's so you upgraded it pretty we much? We did try to okay. upgrade, so okay. it paid off. <laughs> so how many, I see a lot of fruits and vegetables here. How many fruits and vegetables do you have on your farm? Actually, on our farm, uh, I could probably could say about a hundred different varieties of things if you add everything together. Right. When it goes to come down to greens, Collars, turnips, mustards, kale. We have a whole lot of fruit trees as far as plums, different varieties of the plum trees, peach okay. trees. We have a muscadine scup and ham uh, which actually have real grapes in it, the concord grapes, the okay. green, green seedless grapes, green grapes with seeds. Uh, pomegranate trees, we have uh, quite a few different varieties of pecan trees. Pecan trees? Paper shells and hard shells. So we're talking about that. So is that in season right now? Now, in season right now are greens, okay. pecans, and the last of pears, and the last of the okra. So let's talk about that real quick. You got the greens, the pears, and the, and the pecans, right? Yes. So these are freshly picked. These are freshly picked pecans. So yeah. you don't do anything to them, just pick them? No, just pick them up and they're ready to eat. Ready to eat. Yep, they are ready to eat. So what about the pears? Now this pear looks a little different from what I find in the store. Yeah, it's actually the basic pear, uh, old country pear. Okay. That we use for canning and, and making pear preserve, which okay. we do have a zap of a pear preserve. Sure. I think it's, uh, one of those over here. Right here? Yes. Yeah, pear preserve. Pear preserve? Yeah. Okay. Wow. So you bottled this, you bottled this yourself? Yes, we bottled it ourselves. That's so you got a one-stop shop? Yeah, one-stop shop. Okay. As we say, from our farm, straight to your home. Straight so, to the kitchen, straight yeah. to the plate. <laughs> but the greens, you know, it's, it's, it's a few different varieties of greens here. Yeah, you got some kale over there? Yeah. Uh, matter of fact, uh, this is two different varieties of mustards that we do on the farm. Okay. This one right here is what you call a slick mustard as opposed to the curly leaf mustard that a lot of people were used to eating. Now that's, you'll see that a lot more. This okay. basically, you won't stand the store much. This is basically the whole farm thing. Okay. And this right here, this is the fresh, fresh kale. Smell of kale. Yeah, Smell of which, which everybody kind of loves. And right here is the collard green. Okay. Okay. And this right here, this is actually, a lot of people get it confused. They think it's a turnip. So is that, uh, I'm going to tell you guys, radish? No, it's actually the fresh rutabaga. Fresh, this oh, is the okay. rutabaga root. It grows real hard. It's, okay. peel. it's hard to peel, but it grows with a beautiful leaf. Right. And you can cook it and eat it all just like a turnip. I didn't know yes. that. Yes. Wow. Do you have any other services that you provide? Um, what I do, what I do, for, I do farmer's markets. Um, and a lot of people who, who bought from us from years and years ago they right. still come to the farm because they know we still grow, actually say the best greens in, in Georgia. Best green. okay. So they still come and get stuff from the farm. Um, so I do, a, I do a couple of farmers markets around Atlanta. Okay. Uh, I do the East Lake Farmers Market over at uh, Jose Williams and Second Avenue. Okay. Every Saturday from nine to one. I do uh, some high rises, see high rises, because you know seniors have problems getting to the market. To the market, so, so you bring them fresh. I bring them fresh vegetables from the farm. I do veranda and autumn one year. Okay. Uh, I've done the around that car. Okay. Um, yeah. So we don't have to go out and buy stuff. Okay, so you do deliver to a wide variety of organizations and exactly. places. Like yeah. That. And I do I do do uh, I do a church every Thanksgiving. Okay. For, she does baskets over at Miranda uh, on Cleveland Avenue. I do about maybe seven, eight hundred bunch of green. Okay. And it's discounted because it's for a good cause, so Right. And that's what I kinda of donate during the holiday. So so you do you have a team at on your farm, like what's the maintenance of people on your farm? It is a family operated business. It's, okay. it's myself. I have two other brothers, okay. Nathaniel and Canadians. I have 
four sisters, Francis, Brenda, Kitty, and Vivian. Vivian is the cook in the family. Okay. As we work, she keeps all the food prepared. She cooks for us. Um, when we did install the irrigation system, it was a family venture. Okay. We all did it. Okay. From the dealing of the back hole for the holes. Oh, so you didn't get somebody outside the no, door. You did so. It was all done okay. with the family. Um, the hoop house, the high time, was family the family built. We had to call a little consultant in on that. But what is that? It's a high tunnel where we can grow during the wintertime now. Uh -huh. okay. So closed doors, irrigated. So So what kind of, I heard you have a mentoring program. Yes. Um, I heard you have somebody that's going to speak on that. Yes, we're gonna, I'm going to have my son come up and he's going to tell us a little about the Old yeah. Memorial Mentoring Program. Yeah. What is the mentoring program? Well, it's a place where we get students from different schools and they like come to like a little a school and we like sit there. Yeah. We teach them like the seven habits of how you need to what you need to learn and how you need to use those in order to succeed in life. We also teach them like some math skills and subjects in school that they're having trouble with. We teach little kids how to read and to help them read even better. We have like a total of 35 students in there. And the first, the first two hours of the program is strictly school work. The kids ages from first grade to eighth grade. We don't have the resources to do high schoolers, which we wish we could not do, yet, not yet. To, to do high schoolers because, right. you know, they really won't help. Yeah. And then the last 30 minutes um, is mentoring, and we do a little Bible verse, and we come strictly from Proverbs with the kids, and okay. for the last 30 minutes of this mentoring. Teaching mini farming stuff? Yes, we, 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 have, we, we did a juice demonstration at the, okay. at, the, at the program. They enjoyed the fresh juices. So it's good if, you know, parents do show their kids new things and try new products with their kids. They actually like, the, like that stuff. Oh, really? okay. You got a great spread here. I want to go through what you actually brought. All of these peppers. Right. We got grow all kind of a variety. Now this is really, really hot. This is called the Tabasco. So um, what's the hottest pepper you got? This little, That's the one. This little Tabasco pepper right here is probably the hottest thing on this table. Now this is hot too. The, the cayenne, cayenne, along with with the jalapeno. <laughs> now that uh, why I grow the peppers, I try to grow the peppers because the peppers mm -hmm. are what I use in the chow. Uh, Which is, you, you did give me some cha cha. Yes. This is cha cha, right? Yes. A couple uh, weeks ago, I had no idea what it was. It was very good. I, was, I had some chicken. I was like, what is this? <laughs> I tell you, it's, it's, good on, it's good on a lot of things hot dogs, sausages, it's any awesome. type of vegetable, <laughs> yeah. grease, or whatever. I was skeptical too, but it was really good. <laughs> but it, it, it's, it's a mixture of, of cabbage, um, you got green tomatoes, uh, onions, bell peppers. Then you got about, I got about four different type peppers in it, which is the jalapenos, the cayenne, these sweet banana peppers, and some of these little bit of really hot Tabascos, which is not overpoweringly hot, but it's got a nice little kick. They said, if it's, if it's, if Cha Cha is supposed to be hot. <laughs> so, uh, now this is the last of the fresh okra on the farm. Fresh okra. Um, we've been breaking okra for about the last four months. The pears, we have fresh pear trees at the farm, which we do the pear preserves and now you talking about yeah, it's so many different types yeah, of pears. Yeah, it's right? a whole lot of different types. We was only talking about the, the pineapple pear. Yeah, yeah, we have a pineapple pear at the farm, um, and we have these old country pears as okay. we call them. So, uh, we do the fresh bell peppers, red and green, and we have the yellow. Okay. Uh, as I told you, this time of the year, the pecans have started to fall. So, right. we got about maybe fifty to sixty pecan trees, and we have the paper shells, uh, the big desirables. Uh, so these are different food, yeah, like, yeah, varieties of different yeah. varieties. Money makers, stewards, and seasons. So it's about five different varieties. So you get different tastes with each one, I guess, right? Yes. Stewards. The main ones, the other big ones, the main ones you see in stores are the stewards. Stewards? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You'll see you'll see a few maybe paper shells, but not many. Okay. Because most of them, most of our pecans now are being shipped to China. Oh. If you're aware of it, they're trying to buy well, them. I think they, they find out how good pecans are. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you got a lot of canned stuff over here yeah. as well. Now, Miss Rochelle. Miss Rochelle. We can have her <laughs> come up now because she's one of my customers. Now, she's the one who's. Would you like to come up, Miss Rochelle? <laughs> come on up here. Yes. Be the next contestant. <laughs> all, right, all right. You got a lot of stuff here. Uh, so, what do you have here? I know she has some kale, a couple of juices. Okay. These are the products that I got from Gray. And um, okay. I have three different muscle bags I like, but I don't drink wine 
And so most people, when they get muscadine in the South, they want to make wine. Okay. So I said, you know what, I don't want alcohol. Is that? <laughs> so, so I would do alcohol. So I said, you know what, let me make juice out of it. So there's three methods that I use. This one is what they call a quick method. When you make grape juice, you can put the whole grape in the jar okay. as it is and add a simple syrup and process it, and you get a juice. Now when you say process, what does that mean? Processing is part of the canning process. Okay. I put the put everything in the jar, put the whole jar in a pot okay. of water and boil it for a period of time. Okay. And I take it out and this is it'll as it cools it'll vacuum seal. Uh -huh. And so this with time the flavor um, builds because right. of the grapes in there. And then I took the same grapes and I did a process called steam. Okay. Where it's like um, a vegetable steamer but it's three levels. In the middle it has a catcher. So I put the fruit at the top. And then I put the um, water at the bottom, and as the steam builds, it cooks, and it drips pure juice. That's what this is. In the middle, I catch it. That is. And then this is more of his grapes, where I did the old-fashioned way, what everybody knows when you're making jam. I cook the grapes, Okay. all right? And then I had to strain it off, and so that's why you have more color and body. And this is what they use to make the jams. Uh, so cooking is just heating in the pot? You have to cook it just like you cook okay. any other food. Just put all the grapes in there, okay. and they'll cook down get soft. You strain it off, and this is the juice. Okay. And so those are three. These are um, spaghetti sauce that I made. Yes, I use some of oh, his ingredients, his tomatoes. I get peppers from him and things like that. So I make my own spaghetti sauce. So okay. like this year, I think I did about 250 pounds of tomatoes. So when's the last time you bought spaghetti sauce in another store? About three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, collards. Here you go. It's collards. I can his collards. <laughs> Take that right there. And so, um, <laughs> I pre-season everything and then, then I just put them in jars. So for what you put in the jars, what is the liquid in Simple syrup? This one for him. Uh, vinegar. Pickles. Oh, vinegar. vinegar. Vin apple cider vinegar, uh, white vinegar. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that's pickled, you right. make, you put vinegar. You can even do lemon juice as well. Okay. Because I don't use vinegar in any of my pickling. I only use lemon juice. Uh, okay. So and when I make a chow chow relish in all mine is lemon all mine is lemon juice. So you make that as well? Yes, I make um I make um pickles, relish and stuff like that. It so, looks like it's chow chow. Okay. So which one is better? Probably is. Probably is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to him. He makes it very well. So, so you got to talk about the winter and the fall. Since on the summertime, what is your kind of hot produce? Now, summertime, during the storm in the spring, now, that's when we do the peas. I do all types of peas. Okay. Purple old peas, cryo peas, triple peas, butter beans. Okay. We start with the okra. We do the fresh snap beans, um, cucumbers. Uh, I always try to do cantaloupes with watermelons for the house. Um, we do all the peppers. The summertime is just when, and that's when all the fruit trees are going. We have the, the right. peach plum, we have peach plum trees. Uh, we have sugar, a, sugar, a sugar plum tree, which is really good plum. We have Alberta peaches, some early peaches. That's why I was going to say peaches. Yeah, and, plum. and we have we have the jumbo blackberry trees that we had. And actually, this year, I added a grapefruit tree and some orange trees to the farm. Okay. I have great fruit so on the tree like that like this beans. year. So they're growing really good. So I'm really shocked at that. Yeah. Okay. Well, Greg, where can people find your stuff? Where can they find you in the farmer's markets? They can find me at the farmer's market over at East Lake every Saturday from okay. 9 to 1. East Lake? East Lake. It's 2nd Avenue in Jose Williams. Okay. Um, I do deliver so they can call me at 770-313-5177. Or they could always contact me at the farm down in Montezuma at 478-472-8821. Cool. Thank you so much, Greg, for coming on. I appreciate it, man. I enjoyed it. Have a good one. Thank you so much. This is Jazz with Until next time, stay fit, stay healthy. See you.